Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, no, you do. Hey you guys, what's up? So, in today's video, y'all, I'm gonna be doing or going over my 2021 luxury wish list. I know that 2021 is closer to being over than it has to beginning or then to begin like it's closer to the end than to the beginning of the year and these videos are supposed to go up in like january february march the latest but i decided to wait to see if new items popped up that i would maybe want or like unfortunately <laughs> my list is pretty much the same as it has always been i feel like my list is very relatable it's not too expensive nor do i have anything crazy crazy expensive on here i feel like it's all luxury but affordable luxury in a sense but yeah with all that being said don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also you can let me know what your luxury wish list is for 2021 so the first category you guys is going to be the purse category and it's relatively small the reason that it is so small is because this year i think i've purchased like three new bags and i just feel like at some point <laughs> You gotta say enough is enough. I don't know how people buy like 20 bags in one year because I'm like, where do you go? Like, I want your life that you're jet setting and traveling and doing all these things that you need 20 different bags for. But there are two bags that I've been talking about, I feel like forever, and they are the Neo Alma BB in black and the Empreinte leather and the Locky BB also in black. The Neo Alma BB, let me just say that I'm most likely going to buy this bag. It has been on my radar for, I wanna say two years. Has it been two years, a year and a half now? I love this bag. I think I've talked about this in one of my other videos that the leather from Louis Vuitton, their items are sometimes really, really beautiful and they're underrated, I feel like, because so many people want monogram or Dami Abin, Dami Azur, whatever it may be, their canvas. And sometimes their leather is just like not really talked about or not really on anyone's radar for that um, matter. But I have been into the Louis Vuitton store multiple times and I have taken pictures of this bag. I have tried out this bag, just how it looks how it feels it's so nice it's a nice modernized edgy rendition of the alma pm is it the alma pm right i think the price point is awesome for what you're getting do i think it's high yes these things are luxury items though you're gonna pay a premium usually for these items but when you're comparing it to the other on prompt bags that louis vuitton offers and like the price difference from an all leather bag from a canvas bat bag it being very minimal um I'm like, why not? So yeah, that's probably something I'm going to buy if I can save up my money by Christmas. I'm most likely going to get the Alma BB and, um, Neo in black. So the next bag is going to be the Lucky BB in black. And I've had an interesting story with this. I was going to buy it, I wanna say the beginning of this year or like the end of last year. I went into the Louis Vuitton store, I was trying it out, but the sales associate talked me out of buying the Lucky BB and talked me into buying the Alma PM. And I purchased it in Dami Abin. I brought it home, but I had huge buyer's remorse for this bag. It had horrible indentions in the bag from the handles, and the zipper was crappy, and just the craftsmanship and the quality of the Alma PM, BB Alma PM, just was not there, or wasn't how I expected it to be. So then when I returned the bag, I went in to look for the Locky BB, and they didn't have it anymore. I mean, they have it now, but I don't wanna buy it right now, because like I said, I want the Neo Alma BB. I almost got the Locky BB, but I was talked out of it, and the lady was telling me that it didn't match my style. You know, it, I'm not upset about that at all. She was helpful, and she was nice, and she was having a wonderful conversation with me, but I just remember, you know, thinking to myself, I should've got the Locky instead of the Alma, but I still love the Locky BB. It's a little off, like I don't know if it's the big lock in the middle for me. I don't know if it's like the random handle on the top or the weird strap that they have that it's very thin and just like juxtapos juxtapose, juxtaposition, I don't know. Like it, it sometimes looks a little weird, but when I see it on some people, like styling it and wearing it and I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks so nice. And the next category is going to be jewelry. Now this I don't think is fine jewelry, 
jewelry? No, it's not. It's all like easy trinkets, you know, luxury brand jewelry, but I've been wanting some of these things for a very long time. So let's start with the most affordable, and it's going to be the LV Confidential Bracelet. I know it's the most basic bracelet, most affordable bracelet that you, Louis Vuitton offers, but I love this dang bracelet. There's like this girl that I knew that wore it all the time, and I'm like, this looks so cute. Like it was so basic, so simple, but it looked so nice when she wore it, and now I can't find it. <laughs> in the store but I like it and that's probably something I'm going to add to this year because it's relatively affordable and I can scrape up some pennies to find like 150 200 bucks somewhere laying around somewhere next thing let me think what I have here uh, the Hermes the Hermes um, click is it the click clack um, bracelet armband this isn't something that I really necessarily need <laughs> nor is it something that's really high on the wish list but because my name is Haley and because it's an H and because you can pick so many different colors I just like that um, they also have I think there are two little earrings that have an H on them and you can pick colors too I like those too but I really want the skinny I don't know if it's called the click clack or not but the, um, the skinny version of the bracelet I don't like the bulky one uh, and I'm trying to think of what color. I think it's like Rosé Drajani, Drajani or something. I don't know what it's called. Um, but the pink or the, I think it's cray maybe? Cream and gray? <laughs> but yeah, that, that's something that I want. Ah, uh, the next point is a really cool point for me. A lot of people don't know about this brand, but I have a pair of earrings that I really like. I actually have the real version of the earrings and then a fake version that I bought off Etsy just if I wear them somewhere that I don't want them to get lost, but I love like the look of them. And they are the Sean Lean, I think is his name, Talon earrings. So Meghan Markle, a long time ago, she wore these cute little earrings that are like talons. That's all I can say. So I looked them up and I found the designer, the um, jeweler. <laughs> What is he called? I don't know what they're called. And I found these earrings. And so I bought a pair. And like I said, I bought a pair off Etsy. But then I also, you know, want the longer versions. They're like, I think three or four different lengths. And I have the smallest length, I believe. And I want the, not medium, but the large. They like hang really long. They're like long taloned hooks. And they're just so pretty looking. I love earrings like this. I love big hoops, long dangly earrings. Um, I will wear them in my daily life. Like I don't need to go anywhere special to wear these things. I just think they're an awesome statement piece and they're still very simple. The next two things are like on the bottom of the list because they're things that I cannot like fathom spending so much money on, but they are the Cartier love ring everyone has the love ring everyone loves the love ring that's just on my wish list i like it i think it's cool looking say what you want if you don't like it that's fine it's my personal taste but then there's another item and i don't know the name exactly i'll put a picture of it but there's a watch from cartier that i really really like and i find it to be so classy and i find it to be so timeless and every time that i see people wearing them i usually see older women older ladies wearing the watch but i still think it just looks so freaking timeless and classic and beautiful and it doesn't have to be new it can be used i'm not against it being used and i'd probably actually prefer that so yeah the next point you guys and this is going to be the smallest category and it's going to be shoes because i only have one pair of luxury shoes that i have i find the concept of luxury shoes to be very um it doesn't make any sense to me because usually when you're walking in shoes they're going to get ruined and a lot of times when i have something nice and expensive i like to preserve the life of it as long as I possibly can and I just feel like I can't preserve the life of shoes as long as I possibly can <laughs> as let's say a bag or jewelry so there are one pair of shoes that I really love I would never wear these anywhere I don't wear high heels like this but the Tom Ford locket Tom Ford padlock sandals Ugh, but I don't want such there's like two different lengths I believe there might be more but the ones that I have seen um, I don't know if it's like 85 millimeters and 115 millimeters or whatever it may be oh my goodness you guys these shoes are just so sexy I don't understand like when I see them on people I've seen people walking around where I live with them on before and I'm like oh Oh. But those are like the only two shoes that I can see myself wanting to buy luxury. Other than that, Target. <laughs> 
has amazing shoes. Um, I don't need expensive shoes because it makes no sense for me because I do not watch where I walk. And the last and final category are going to be random items that I really like. And yeah, they're just on the list, but they don't really belong to any specific category because it would just be a bunch of categories with not really that much in it. So the two luxury perfumes that I want to add to my collection um, are the Bitter Peach by Tom Ford. I know it's a hit and miss with everyone, but I love Bitter Peach. I also like Rose Prick. Um, I could actually add either of those. And then Louis Vuitton Dream Catcher, or I don't know what the name is. I can't pronounce it. I'll put it here. I love the smell of this uh, perfume. I love it. It smells so sexy. This is also probably something that I will buy by the end of the year because I just love the scent. I love perfumes. I can spend so much money on perfumes and not feel bad about it. And when I'm done with two perfumes or three perfumes, I'll probably buy that one. The next thing isn't really a specific item, it's just the idea of an item or like a umbrella term for an item and it's going to be cashmere jogging pants. I have been looking for a nice pair of cashmere jogging pants for a very long time. I'm home a lot. I don't wear that much clothing when I'm home. I like stuff that's very soft, that's very smooth. I wear like jogging pants when I'm home, but I have a bunch of cheap pair and I would like to invest because it's not really investing because this is not going to make me any money, um, but I would like to invest in a nice pair of cashmere jogging pants. They can be a cashmere mix, but the ones that I I've tried out like tried on or the ones that I've seen online that are cashmere mixed they don't really look that comfortable but yeah that's something that is on my luxury wish list because I feel like a lot of people forget that certain fabrics and materials are considered luxurious and for me cashmere is one of them the next one which should have been in jewelry but I've put it in random because it's not something that I really care about or think about and it is the what are they called the Louis Vuitton or Fendi logo earrings, statement earrings. Everyone has them. I was going to buy the Louis Vuitton ones a while ago when they were relatively cheaper. Now they're a lot, not a lot more, but they're more money than when I wanted to buy them. And then I just put it off when I started seeing the price increases, but then I saw people wearing the Fendi ones and I was like, oh, these are cool too. So I love big hoopy earrings. I love, I don't know, logos sometimes, not all the time. And I just think they look nice, but I don't know if I will get them, but they are on my wish list because I like them and I would wear them probably almost every day if I had them. The next one is going to be a staple piece of clothing and it doesn't really matter from where. So I was thinking maybe a skirt from Louis Vuitton. They have really nice ones. Or I think his name is Jonathan Simkai, like a dress from him. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. And then there's Rick Owens. I love some of the sweaters that he has. What I have learned with my age and getting older, like just maturing a little bit, is that buying nice quality, you know, less nice quality instead of more low quality is better, if that makes sense. So I'd rather have pieces that I can wear, you know, if it's a staple piece or a statement piece once every year, but have it for 40 years, I would much rather do that than have like five different outfits that I have to throw away like after two uses. I've learned with my age that you should just buy nice stuff. The fabrics are A, usually nicer when you're buying from certain designers. They last a little longer. They sometimes have warranties. And that's just something that I want to start doing to just have like little pieces of clothing, items and clothing in my closet that are statement or staple pieces. So the last and final thing on this list is going to be the Bottega Veneta, Bottega, Bottega, I can never pronounce this, BV, <laughs> but that also doesn't sound good either. They are the Aviator sunglasses, gold rimmed with, I think they have green-ish lenses, frame, no, gold frames with green lenses. They are so freaking cool. I would buy a cheaper version of these sunglasses, but nobody makes them like in this octa, I don't know if it's an octagon, but it's some type of gone shape where it's not just a square or this random circle with maybe an edge. There's like a bunch of different edges on it and it looks so nice and ugh, it just is sexy. I love big aviator sunglasses. They're my favorite. Hide the eye bags, hide the tiredness, don't have to wear makeup and you're good to go. So those are like the final thing on my list. And yeah, I'd be happy if I got them, but it's not like it's something I need because I have a bunch of sunglasses already so 
I think that's it, you guys. Like I said, you can let me know what your wish list is for 2021. If I have anything that you have on your wish list, let me know. And yeah, have a wonderful day, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And...